What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It is The Wolf and I am back at it again with another video. Today we're covering an in and out review where I try and get you all the information you need about a comic, manga, anime, animated film, regular films, video games, or anything under the geek culture label in three minutes or less. Today we are covering uh, Attack on Titan Season 2, Episode 3 or 27. I had the hardest time trying to figure out what exactly was happening in this in this episode in particular, but let's get into this. Okay, so the episode picks up with Connie with the other soldiers in the location of the disabled Titan. Now, while standing there, Connie feels like he can hear the disabled Titan talking to him, but that is quickly shut down by other soldiers in the area, telling him to get his shit together. They soon realize that no bodies can be found in the location, and none of the horses were disturbed, which, of course, strikes a weird connection with the soldiers because they're used to seeing bodies and they're trying to figure out why there's no blood there's no evidence of there being some kind of battle fought or really any representation of any townspeople either being attacked or being there in the first place at this point we're given several different perspectives from several different scouting operations going on one involving krista who i personally think is the girl they're talking about near the end of this episode and she's discussing with one of her friends trying to figure out why she's there and she finds out it's because of who her family is on another scouting part uh party there is um captain rico with her group trying to kill out a bunch of titans she she's able to take out one and then starts to say there's something different there's something wrong and on top of that there's other scouting parties looking for the hole where the titans come from and none of them have been able to spot this area or location at all suddenly things start going left and they start going left very fast the titans are not behaving like they usually do such as not coming out at night or attacking um locations that besides the wall they're just kind of doing a lot of things that's not normal to their behavior and is causing problems and questions to be raised amongst the, the groups that we know and love. In, in the, the midst of all this, Aaron's squad comes up with the idea to use Aaron's Titan to make this kind of hardened shell casing around the hole that is in the wall currently. Of course, while all of this is going on, there's a shit ton of crazy shit happening because that's how Titans do. They're pretty much attacking this castle place where uh, another scouting party has taken refuge for the night. And in the midst of all this nonsense, the Beast Titan can be seen popping his head in once again. And that's pretty much where the episode ends at. All in all, I give this episode a 6.5 out of 10. I don't know why I was so confused, but I had to watch this episode a couple times to really understand, I guess, the complexities of what was going on. But that may just be on my end. Um, other than that, it was a pretty decent episode once I finally understood what the fuck was going on. <laughs> um, so yeah. Did you like this review? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, and please, please, please join the Geeky TV Patreon. You can join for as little as a dollar a month and you can get cool stuff like early access to videos, exclusive content, geeky workouts where I post exclusively there and if you participate in that then hey you get some free shirts for your efforts and time you know what I'm saying on top of that you can also get your name at the end of videos so you know who doesn't want that but remember to hit that bell so you know when I'm uploading and even though the wolf's got a scat just remember long little wolf pack Arr!